All of the images I'm showing you in this video have orbs, but they're obviously fake orbs. Done in a couple of minutes, finding the pictures, copying the pictures, putting a blob on the pictures. And if I was a real cruel bastard, I would open up a channel and vlog about capturing orbs on camera, wouldn't I? But I'm not that cruel. I'm not that evil. And if I spent more time working on it, I could make some really quite convincing ghost pictures. But in the end, even if you catch something on camera which you have not faked, which you would call an orb because it appears to be an orb, usually, and this is from what they found time and time again, it appears to be either dust or moisture or some kind of, say, a bug or something. Caught on camera, not in focus, looking blur, appears to be something that it is not. And people go, ah, it's a manifestation of spirit. Is it really? Because it's sure as hell not evidential of anything really at all. But because people believe in ghosts and people believe in angels and archangels and guardian angels and all this kind of stuff, when they get something they can't explain away or explain immediately, they find a paranormal, supernatural, well, reason why it's there. Whether it's a orb or whether it's some kind of shape other than an orb. And usually there's a perfectly rational explanation. 